myself aws azure and oracle certified professional and microsoft certified trainer many associates not only passed by following this video they have passed with above 90% score if you have missed osa foundation question series videos or oracle autonomous database specialty exam question series videos i highly recommend you to please watch those videos to encourage you for the free certification we have started a giveaway where you can participate for free and win exciting rewards while preparing for the certification exam don't miss to click the i button at the top right corner to know the steps links available in the video description as well if you are new to this channel please subscribe and press the bell icon now let's start question 1 which statement is not correct about autonomous database maintenance on dedicated exadata infrastructure and the options are a autonomous exadata infrastructure maintenance takes place at least once each quarter and is mandatory b if a scheduled container database maintenance run cannot take place oracle will automatically reschedule the container database maintenance for the following quarter c you can change your container database maintenance window or reschedule a single container database maintenance run to ensure that your container database maintenance runs follow infrastructure maintenance within the same quarter and d autonomous exadata infrastructure maintenance runs are for infrastructure patching including patching of the exadata grid infrastructure code and operating system updates and include database patching now analyze the options option a autonomous exadata infrastructure maintenance takes place at least once each quarter and is mandatory as per oci doc exadata infrastructure maintenance takes place at least once each quarter and is mandatory so the statement is true but the question asked to choose false statement so this is incorrect option b if a scheduled container database maintenance runs cannot take place oracle will automatically reschedule the container database maintenance for the following quarter if a scheduled container database maintenance run cannot take place because of changes made to infrastructure maintenance schedule or any other reason oracle will automatically reschedule the container database maintenance for the following quarter so option b is also valid statement hence incorrect option c you can change your container database maintenance window or reschedule a single container database maintenance run to ensure that your container database maintenance runs follows infrastructure maintenance within the same quarter this is also correct statement so invalid option and the last option option d autonomous exadata infrastructure maintenance runs are for infrastructure patching including patching of the exadata grid infrastructure code and operating system updates and include database patching exadata infrastructure maintenance patches the exadata infrastructure including patching of exadata grid infrastructure code and operating system updates and do not include database patching so as per option d this include database patching but we saw this does not include database patching so this is invalid statement so correct choice so correct option for question 1 is option d question 2 you have a requirement to create an autonomous transaction processing database that can support at least 200 concurrent statement per ocpu as well as parallelism which service you will need to connect to and the options are a tp b low c medium and d tp urgent the question has two parts first support at least 200 concurrent statements and second support parallelism if you have a look into this table you could see only three database services support concurrent statements more than 200 these are tp urgent tp and low now regarding the parallelism low connection service does not run with parallelism so we have left with two options tp and tp urgent now tp also does not run with parallelism so the right answer is tp urgent option a tp this is incorrect as although this provide more than 200 concurrent statements but this does not provide parallelism so incorrect choice option b low this also does not provide parallelism hence incorrect option c medium this does not provide more than 200 concurrent statements so this is also incorrect option d tp urgent this is correct tp urgent support more than 200 concurrent statements as well as parallelism so the correct option for question 2 is option d question 
for flat admin to access dedicated extra infrastructure which policy should be assigned and the options are a allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database family in tenancy b allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to dw c allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy and d allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to oltp now analyze the options option a allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database family in tenancy the resource family covered by autonomous database family can be used to grant access to database resources associated with all the autonomous database workload types so option a is correct option b allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to dw no this is incorrect this should be autonomous database family not autonomous database so incorrect choice option c allow group adb admin to manage autonomous database in tenancy this is also incorrect option d allow group adb admins to manage autonomous database in tenancy where target dot workload type equal to oltp this is also incorrect so correct option for question 3 is option a question 4 which statement is not correct when using automatic indexing on autonomous data warehouse and the options are option a process includes identify candidates create invisible auto indexes verify with implement if performance improve and delete unused b you can control behavior at the statement level using the use auto indexes or no use auto indexes hints c you can use the dbms auto index package to report the automatic task and to set your preferences d the indexing feature is implemented as an automatic task that runs at a fixed interval and e it is enabled by default point to be remember we have to choose invalid statements so now analyze the options option a process includes identify candidates create invisible auto indexes verify with implement if performance improved and delete unused You can use the DBMS auto index package to report on the automatic task and to set automatic indexing preferences. So option A is valid statement hence incorrect. Option B you can control behavior at the statement level using the use auto indexes or no use auto indexes hints. This is also valid statement hence incorrect choice. Option C you can use DBMS auto index package to report on the automatic task and to set your preferences. Yes this is also true we just saw it hence invalid statement option d the indexing feature is implemented as an automatic task that runs at a fixed interval the indexing feature is implemented as an automatic task and runs at a fixed interval so option d is also a valid statement hence incorrect choice option e it is enabled by default no this is wrong it is disabled by default Automatic indexing automates the index management task in autonomous database. Auto indexing is disabled by default in autonomous database. So option E is correct choice. So correct option for question four is option E. Question five. You need to create a new database via the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure CLI with the following requirements: autonomous transaction processing, license included, and shared infrastructure. Which parameter you won't use? and the options are a license model b is dedicated c db type and d db workload now analyze the options option a license model this is the complete list of parameter which can be used few are mandatory and few are optional if you scroll down you can see license model is mentioned under optional parameter so license model can be used so this is incorrect option b is dedicated is dedicated is also available under optional parameter so this is also incorrect c db type db type is not available under required parameter or optional parameter so you can't use db type so option c is correct option d db workload under optional parameters db workload is mentioned so you can use db workload hence incorrect choice so the correct option for question 5 is option c Question six: Which two statements are true about using an autonomous database with private endpoints? 
and the options are a private endpoints can be configured when you choose a shared autonomous database that was initially created with public endpoints b you can configure private endpoints for an always free autonomous database c a network security group is required within your virtual cloud network before you can provision a shared autonomous database to use private endpoints and d an autonomous database with private endpoints can be accessed from the public internet by adding your ip addresses to an access control list now analyze the options option a private endpoints can be configured when you clone a shared autonomous database that was initially created with public endpoints if your autonomous database instance is configured to use public endpoint you can change the configuration to a private endpoint and this is the detailed steps of how to do the same so this is possible hence option a is correct option b you can configure private endpoints for an always free autonomous database no you cannot configure private endpoints for always free autonomous database so this is incorrect option c a network security group is required within your virtual cloud network before you can provision a shared autonomous database to use private endpoints If you follow the steps we shown while describing the option A you can see at step 6 you need to add network security groups so this is correct choice option D an autonomous database with private endpoints can be accessed from the public internet by adding your ip addresses to an access control list no this is incorrect so the correct options for question 6 are option A and C question 7 Which two cloud services are supported to import data pump files from using dedicated Exadata infrastructure? And the options are A Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage, B Google Cloud Storage, C Amazon S3, D Azure Blob Storage, and E Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage Classic. Oracle recommends using latest Oracle Data Pump version for importing data from data pump files into your autonomous database as it contains enhancements and fixes for a better experience. If you scroll down further, you can see you can use two storage for this. First, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage and second, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage Classic. So option A Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage this is correct option B Google Cloud Storage this is incorrect option C Amazon S3 no this is also not supported hence incorrect choice option D Azure Blob Storage this is also incorrect and the last option option E Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage Classic yes this is supported we have seen this in OCI documentation So this is correct. So the correct options for question seven are option A and E. Question eight: Which statement is true about the use of access control lists with an autonomous database on shared infrastructure? And the options are A: When you restore a database, the existing ACLs are not overwritten by the restore. B: An ACL can be set up for an IP address or a virtual cloud network. but not both at the same time c acls can only be used with private endpoints and d an acl can only be set during the creation of an autonomous database on shared infrastructure now analyze the options option a when you restore a database the existing acls are not overwritten by the restore when you restore a database the existing acls are not overwritten by the restore so option a is correct Option B an ACL can be set up for an IP address or a virtual cloud network but not both at the same time In ACL you can use virtual cloud network virtual cloud network OCI ID IP address or CIDR block of ACLs to control access So option B is incorrect Option C ACL can only be used with private endpoints You can change from private to public endpoint with autonomous database So option C is incorrect. Option D and ACL can only be set during the creation of an autonomous database on shared infrastructure. No, this is also incorrect. So correct option for question eight is option A. Question nine: What command should you issue to enable application continuity on autonomous database shared infrastructure? 
and the options are a alter session set application continuity equal to true b alter database set application continuity equal to true c exec dbms cloud admin dot enable app count then service name d alter system set application continuity equal to true enable app count procedure enables database application continuity for the session associated with the specified service name in autonomous database and the syntax is dbms cloud admin dot enable app count then within bracket the service name option a alter session set application continuity equal to true no this is incorrect choice option b alter database set application continuity equal to true this is also incorrect option c exec dbms cloud admin dot enable app count yes this is correct this is the statement we have to use option d alter system set application continuity equal to true this is also incorrect so the correct option for question 9 is option c question 10 which statement is correct about managing and monitoring of autonomous database and the options are a you can use service console to enable or disable auto scaling of autonomous db b you can use service console to manage runaway sql statements on autonomous db c you can use service console to move autonomous db between compartments and d you can use service console to create manual backups of autonomous database now analyze the options option a you can use service console to enable or disable auto scaling of autonomous db no this is incorrect option b you can use service console to manage runaway sql statements on autonomous db you need to follow these eight steps to manage runaway sql statements on autonomous database so option b is correct option c you can use service console to move autonomous db between compartments no you cannot use service console to move autonomous db between compartments so this is incorrect option d you can use service console to create manual backups or autonomous database this is also incorrect you cannot use service console to create manual backups of autonomous database so correct option for question 10 is option b